On the last video I left you with the promise that we would have looked at some microplastic this time. Let's check how to do it. First of all, let's print some fluorescent material. In the previous video I told you not to print fancy material and this still stands. But this is for science, so let's do it. Why fluorescent you ask? Well, because they are fluorescent. So, if I use a black light over 405 nanometers wavelength, I can distinguish if something is coming up from the 3D printing material or it's something with similar size but is coming from somewhere else, for example, dust. So, I can differentiate them. I can see which object has been printed with this material or not. I can check if some pieces are on the floor and I can directly check near the printer to see if I see something just by eye. Here, for example, you can see some small piece of plastic near the frame, one on the scotch tape, we'll talk later. Some more pieces, but those I'm pretty sure they are coming from cleaning uh, the print. More fluorescent pieces here green one, but those are quite big, so I'm pretty sure they are coming either from the bed or from cleaning the prints. Other pieces here, nothing on the EPA, but the one we are interested in, they are too small to be seen by eye. So let's check how to do it. Second step using scotch tape near the 3D printer to capture microplastics. This is a common way to check for solid particles, again, for example, dust or spores. Then I've printed these two material for two weeks without using the HEPA filter or the open window. After two weeks I remove the scotch tape, attach it on a glass slide and check it on a fluorescence microscope. Didn't see that much, so I just sampled the area near the extruder. And here things are getting more interesting. So let's close the light and fire up the big boy. This is just bright field, so it's normal light and you can see already quite a lot of particles. But at this point I don't know if they are coming from the 3D printer or they were just there because it's dust. Let's check to fluorescence and here I can distinguish them. So I can clearly see which material has been coming from the 3D printer. So bright field and this is a human hair just for scale. I cannot use a banana, so I have to use a human hair. Let's try with the bigger magnification and you can already see quite a lot of microplastics. So again, this is just bright field, just normal light. If we switch to fluorescent light, you can see this. Quite a lot, taking account that the human hair is around this one, it's around 70 microns, so you can see those particles are relatively big. So they are around 50 or more microns. Some of them are smaller than the hair, so they are around 10 microns, you can see very small particles, those ones for example are very small, probably less than 10 microns as well. Let's check another area. And those ones are actually quite small. So this is another part near the extruder, and you can see this is again human hair. It looks fluorescent, it's actually not fluorescent, this is just scattering but the particles that are in there, so the, the red and the blue one, are quite small compared to the air. So now we are going to see quite some small particles. 
five, two microns. And here is an area where I found a lot of them. Let's see with higher magnification. This is bright field. Now we're going to switch to fluorescence. But you can already see bright field, quite a lot of particles. Switch to fluorescence. And you can see already a lot of microplastics. So the red colored and the blue colored are coming from the 3D printed material. A lot of them and those are quite small. Just compare them to the human hair. Those ones are particles that you are not going to see by eye near the 3D printer, but they are there. So, once more, try to pay attention to those microplastics. We don't know if they are dangerous or not, or how dangerous they are. So, try to print in a well-ventilated area, try to have an EPA filter on, and try to decrease your exposure. So don't use a printer uh, near your bedroom, don't print while you are working in the same room, and try to decrease your exposure. If you follow those rules, you have already decreased your risk exposure. So risk management is always important, and if we don't know something, then it's always nice to err on the safe side. So maybe they are not dangerous at all and it's fine, but so far we don't know it yet. So pay attention, keep printing, of course, and have fun. And of course, if you like the video, just subscribe. If you have some question, just comment below and I will try to reply. And see you in the next video.